This, this tutorial is going to be on how to set up an anesthetic syringe. Okay, so this is an anesthetic syringe. This here is a long needle. They usually come in yellow. These are used when you are numbing up posterior teeth. When you are in the posterior part of the mouth, the long needle is what they use for that. Now, the short needle here, which is the blue needle, are for the anterior part of the mouth when you're working with anterior teeth. When we talk about anesthesia, this is called lidocaine. Usually lidocaine has a red strip, okay? And it has epinephrine in it. This here is called carbocaine. Carbocaine is non-epinephrine. Sometimes we'll use it on patients that's either pregnant or have had any kind of heart issues, okay? This is called topical anesthetic. This is what we use on patients. We'll rub their gums with it, okay? And we'll take it and we'll swab it. We'll rub it on the gums so the patient will not feel the pinch as much when they're getting numb. Now, let's load up the syringe. First, we're gonna take the syringe and we're gonna take the anesthesia. We're gonna use it, see how it's placed in my hand? I have my thumb here and I have my other remaining hands here. So what I'm gonna do is my thumb is pushing it up. You see how that comes out? That is so the anesthesia can drop down in there. So now I'm gonna hold this har pull this harpoon back. Then I'm gonna drop it in, okay? It's in there. Now I'm gonna take the needle and I'm gonna place it. Remember, you have to be very careful because you don't wanna stick yourself, okay? So we're gonna place the needle. We have it all tight. And when you hand it to the doctor, you always hand it away from the doctor. So when it's handed to the doctor, you go hand it to the doctor like this. That means this part is going towards him. This is towards you. He pulls it back, and you're just going to retract it a little bit and remove the needle. Now, once, now we're going to talk about recapping it. So let's just say that the needle, the top of the needle is removed, right? So you never need to use two hands to cap a needle. The reason why we say that is because you can stick yourself. So if you work with patients, they're not going to tell you everything when they have things that's going on, any kind of diseases or whatever that's in their health history. So what you have to do, you have to make sure you have to take care of yourself and make sure you protect yourself. So what we're going to do is we're going to one hand cap, right? We're going to one hand cap it. See that? Then we push it up. All right. So that is a tutorial on how to set up an anesthetic syringe.